Hello and welcome to another video. This time I am here with an early build of Dungeons of Eternity with the Halloween update. Uh, well, the early build of the Halloween update. So if I come across a bug or two, uh, don't blame them because they'll probably fix it by the time that it gets to the masses. And maybe I'll even just edit that out so you won't even see it. Ha! Uh, but, yes, yeah, so I've got here... Uh, this beautiful aesthetic as normal. I mean, we've always got beautiful aesthetic here, but we got pumpkins now. So pumpkins in the main screen and skulls on the desk and just, uh, I don't know, over there is kind of the same. But um, yeah, burn pan here, multiplayer stuff, all the same kind of options. Uh, I don't think anything really changed here. Uh, my friends list, whatnot, that's, that's all good stuff. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead into, well... I'll check, check options too. I mean, I don't think any options changed. I read over the patch note or what they said that they changed and I, I don't think there was any setting changes so far. But yeah, so I didn't see anything. Gonna go into solo play, see what's up. Um, and eventually I'm gonna get to testing and like actually try to break the game so that the game's not broken when it releases. But for here, I'm just gonna kind of show off some things uh, and just be excited because my hype could not be contained. And whoa, already there's one torch and, and not a torch. That's so cool. Pumpkins, uh, there's, I can't even get words out. Skulls, that's what those are. Unfortunately, I can't, can't touch these, so. That's a bug that you didn't just see. Uh, and yeah, well, there's somebody else's room, somebody else's room, and then my room. So it, the whole aesthetic is a little like darker and spookier than normal. Like usually it's a little brighter, I think, and not as many like dull gray colors. But I think, yeah, this is kind of their, their gray aesthetic going here. Fabricator, all that stuff is, is the same as far as I can tell. Um, Avatar. So th this is where this is where it gets different, I believe. Um, new cosmetics, yeah. So unlocked. They haven't unlocked these new cosmetics yet. And let's see, bald. Okay, well, yeah. Look at all this pumpkin head, explorer hat, desert hood, sl slit sight helm, uh, imp horn horns, imp horn. Whoa, can't even say that. Imp horns three, imp horns two. I'm guessing there's a one, there's a farmer's hat, skull helmet, imports one. Yeah, cool. That all sounds amazing. Um, I'm excited for those things. And that was the headwear, I believe. Yeah, that was headwear. Hair color, I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah, nothing changed there. Beard, same thing here. Um, but I, I think a couple things changed. Oops, my me just like clicking the joystick randomly. Uh, okay, so avatar customization, armor, maybe. Okay, there's another desert garb. That's pretty cool. There's uh, desert scarf. I think that's kind of like the sandstorm pack. Uh, which I think is a DLC coming out, but I'm, I'm excited for that. Desert Scarf, um, Desert Leggings. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just one DLC that you can buy downloadable content for that specific cosmetic. Um, and that's great. I always wanted them to add in-app purchases for people to use. And look at all these new accents. That's awesome. I'm guessing they're Halloween accents, and uh, maybe one of them is also that desert uh, accent. But yeah, Desert Boots. Yeah, hands was nothing. So, yeah, that's that's pretty sweet. Um, I hope to get that at some point. I can go into my settings here, and uh, I don't even know what I was doing in my settings. I was going to check for how to get that desert thing, because I'm pretty sure that I can do it in this build. But, um, yeah, I, I'll, I'll get to that later, probably. Maybe I'll find it in here. Um, but, yeah, sweet. We've got a little, a little thing here. Can I put... I put stuff. I feel like I, I think this. Um, oh, what was this? I, I think I saw this, but no, it's it's just a new table for something. I, I feel like it has a use, but I, I can't really do anything with it. Same kind of. It's a book. Like maybe there's lore in here once the actual update comes out. I don't know. And maybe this is maybe this is the new storage container. Maybe not. I don't know. I do not know, but, um, ooh, the faucet, let's see, oh, no way, oh my gosh, can I put things in it, let's see, oh, whoa, okay, well, it, it just stops there, that's okay, <laughs> that's sweet, oh, and then you can tip it, can I drink it, yum, delicious goo, I, I don't know what that goo was, but it's pretty awesome, have to say. Can I like throw it? No, you can just dump it. No throwing. That's okay. That is really cool. 
finally being able to do that. And yeah, just, just some other cool things in this outpost. I'm going to try it and do uh, one run through of a dungeon and see like what new things that I might see. I feel like this guy, he's very spooky. He might have some Halloween change, but I don't think he does. <laughs> There's just pumpkins everywhere. Um, let's see. Player list or friends list, still the same stuff. We've got same kind of leaderboards. Um, yeah, I guess those didn't change. Jeez, I'm all the way down to 300 now. What am I doing? <laughs> Not playing as much as I should be. That's what I'm doing. Okay, well, um, we've got quest modes, and that's going to change, by the way. Now that this update's coming out, I am hyped as ever. Okay, well, there's that. There's still the same quest modes. Oh, okay. I just walked into this room and didn't even see all of this awesome stuff. Okay, cosmetics. Sweet. Skeleton armor cosmetics. Amazing. Zombie. That's awesome. And patron supporter bundle. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I went ahead and just <laughs> just supported the game. I just bought this right when I saw it. And so I'm, I'm going to cut that part out of my credit card info and stuff. Um, and, and you'll be able to see me just like not have it and then have it. So yeah, I'll be able to look at those bundles and then cosmetics over here. I can buy this as well. Uh, same with this I can buy. So I'm, I'm going to buy these two as well and cut that out. So here we go. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I, I bought all of them, all three of these cosmetics and uh, I don't know exactly what the price is going to be for you guys. Uh, I'm not even going to mention my price because I don't know if it's going to be the same. Uh, and I don't even know if what I paid for now will translate. I might have to pay for it again. Who knows? But um, for the price that it looked, it seems like a reasonable price and something that basically anybody that likes this game is going to get. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking like uh, walkabout mini golf prices where they do, they do really uh, cheap um, themes for stuff for their their golf courses and uh they just have a bunch of them and so people they maybe they just get one but then over time they add up and, and just get a ton and so this is this is really cheap and for cosmetics it's not game changing but it is really cool and fun and yeah no th this is exactly what i wanted them to do and i think exactly what everybody kind of wanted them to do so again great job other gate I'm going to be, uh, I, I will be coming out with a video with Quaker X and maybe Mr. Scary as well. Uh, but I'll, I'll be giving them my praise as well. So I don't need to, I don't need to do that in this video as well, even though I will. Um, but going back to the cosmetics over here, uh, I'm going to change to spooky cosmetics. And I don't think I can change my loadout. I hope Ah oh, man, I'm gonna have to recreate my avatar. That's gonna be so unfortunate because you can't just have multiple avatar things. And it's also cool, they added this new, like when you get a new uh, cosmetic, it shows new and then new wherever it is. So it's hard, easier to find that stuff. But yeah, it still would be awesome if we had like loadouts where you could choose three different loadouts. You could also have three different avatar slots or, or just multiple avatar slots. And I know that's kind of like what you can do with three different characters because you can have three different characters, but I, I think it would just be nice if you could slightly change your avatar just by uh, clicking those three buttons. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and just try these out here. Skeleton head. I'm, I'm going to try to find what I like the most so far. That looks sick. <laughs> okay. Uh, nice. We've got zombie me. Oh, and it still keeps the hair too. Interesting. So I think I like the, the head better than the zombie. The zombie's spooky. And I think it would be even spookier without the glowing, but I, I don't know for sure. But I am going to, I'm going to stick with the skeleton head because I think I like that better. Um, the eyeballs. Oh man. Oh man. These are like, ooh. Very, very spooky eyeballs, googly eyes, but spooky googly eyes. Interesting. I think I like that. I don't know. I mean, with the skeleton, <laughs> I'm just going to stick with it. It's kind of funny, but oh wait, if I just had, hmm, I don't know if, I, if, I, if I'm a huge fan of these googly eyes. I feel like they would work better with the zombie cosmetic if I did this and googly eyes. Yeah, that. See, that, that just makes more sense, but I, I do like the skeleton better, so I'm going to stick with the skeleton, and I'm just going to do like some glowing eyes, which I already had glowing eyes, but I think these glowing eyes are probably, eh, those are pretty cool. I don't know. I, I think I like these glowing eyes the best for this, so I'm, I'm going to stick with that, and uh, what do I have next? I got the teeth. I don't think there was any change with the teeth. 
I can just like change my teeth and more easily look at it because my face is open like a skeleton, which is cool. I like that. But I'll, I'll be a clean teethed skeleton. Kind of weird, but, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> and um, I'm going to go for, oh, oh, that's, that is awesome. Oh my gosh. Patron helmet. I'm a patron because I, because I spend money in the game. Let's go. That actually looks so cool. Oh man, I'm so glad they did this. Yeah, and uh, I'm leaving that on. That is sick. Uh, okay, and then um, we've got hair color. That again, I don't think that didn't change. Beard didn't change as well. Uh, we got armor. Okay. Oh wait, this was new. Oh, oh, because that's zombie torso. Because you can see through. That's pretty sick. And oh, can I? No. Okay. Let's see. We've got different. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know though. This is sweet. The patron breastplate. Oh man, being a skeleton with armor like this. I mean, it, this is just kind of funny. And it's really cool. I mean, having that glow. Oh man, the accent color with these is just so cool. But mm, I, I think I want this. I'm going to try this. Try this. And. Go, well, I'm gonna go to my legs just to make this make a little bit more sense here. <laughs> um, so I'm guessing I can, yeah, I can get that skeleton bottom half too. I could have zombie legs, which it's kind of covered by the accessory there, but whatever. Um, what, it, what was this? Patron Greaves? Uh, oh yeah, okay, just another part of that armor. So that that armor is super cool. Uh, I'll probably, I might end up sticking with the armor for a good chunk of me playing the game outside of just being a skeleton but uh okay i'm gonna go back to the zombie legs yep those are those are sweet and just just having the glow on the zombie legs is pretty cool and i still didn't get the desert leggings i wonder where i can get that that is that is my question that i'll, I'll try to find out at some point uh, but accessories painful arrows <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah no that's funny because it's when you get shot by an arrow, you can kind of see it like poking out of you. But right now, I, I can't, I can't see them poking out of me. But I do have them poking out of me, and uh, yeah, that that's funny. I don't think I want it. <laughs> I think I just want, uh, I don't know, no, uh, honestly, nothing here. Maybe just just so I don't like take away from what I had. J just so I don't take away from what I'm getting from all these other things. I'm not distracted by, by something else. Okay, sweet. So there's all these new holy whoa. Okay, this is this is awesome. Wow. That's a lot of cool new colors. This one is like it's not the brightest, but I think this might be the coolest. Especially with the armor. You get the gold armor there. I don't know if that's like the default color of the armor or or what, but no that's a pretty cool color. Um Oh, and it shows that I'm a dead. Wait, what? Oh, I guess that. Wait, what? What is that? I don't know what that is. Huh. Interesting. Well, that's there at some point. Maybe. Maybe it just shows up for when you're a dead person. But okay, yeah. So I like. I mean, I'm, I'm just a fan of blue. Blue is kind of just my favorite color, and I, I like the blue. And the blue accent is just pretty. That's also why I like uh, Underworld too. But yes, yeah, so I, I think I'm just gonna stick with this. It's blue, blue accent, new DLC color. And let's see, hands. Oh, there. Okay, we do have. We got the skeleton hands. Gotta have those for sure. Oh, no way. Was that just from the hands? It was. Oh my gosh. It actually changes now. It only changes with. Okay, that that's kind of strange. How it like it doesn't change all of them, but they did add it for being a zombie oh that is so cool and that's so spooky being a zombie holy crap okay and then but yeah no the skeleton <laughs> that's so funny okay yeah no i'll just i'll be a skeleton that's cool with me wow i think this is called like i i, I can't even tell you what it's called the technical term for what this is um but like just showing your actual arms is something that this game didn't do yet and a lot of people would complain about it uh it was cool that they had an a default arm but because when you change your cosmetics it doesn't match that that arm the default arm it uh it just kind of had that disconnect that was kind of weird but the fact that they have this tells me that maybe they'll be adding uh other cosmetics to do this as well not just with the new holiday ones um 
or Halloween ones, I guess, DLCs. But yeah, no, this is this is sweet. And let's see, boots. Okay, sweet. Wait, what is this? Skeleton feet or patron boots? Okay, yeah, no, I want skeleton feet. Patron boots. Still, the whole patron outfit looks amazing, but I'm gonna go f <laughs> with the skeleton feet. Uh, and zombie feet. Nah. See, the zombies like kind of cool it, it could be fun and funny to play with but it doesn't give the accents like the fact that this skeleton you can be an, an accented skeleton you can have this like bright glow on you that is just so cool and okay wait what are the usual weapons that uh skeletons use that's what i'm gonna try to oh, I, I would just do the default like default sword and weapons but actually i still do have them let me let me do that well uh, no no i want the glow too let's see um, I have like three of the exact same swords, interesting. Um, and actually, let me let me turn down my volume real quick. I realize that I have uh, the sound. I turned this up for the, my video with Silver Tongue Devil, and I actually like 20 a little bit better. Maybe I'll, I might check out 25, but I think I like 20. 20 is kind of like my prime spot. And okay, yeah, so I'm trying to find this cutlass. Let me move him to the side here. Look at what I got. That's pretty cool. I'm sticking with that. And then, oh, the other side is... Where are we at? Oh no, that was the same one. Oh, I'm so dumb. Okay, go to this side. And then I could have just gone the other way and it would have been easier. Okay, so it's this one. Sweet. I think that's that's cool with me. Yeah, I'm just going to be fully blue. And then the blue back, this is legendary rather than rare. So it like it's kind of an off color. It's more of a purple than a blue. So I'm going to change my bow as well. And oh. I'm gonna do a staff, even though, oh man, they, they changed, oh, 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 they got spears. So I gotta find spears at some point, but I, I can't show off the spears yet because I haven't found them. This is like my first time hopping on, as you can probably tell by my excitement. Um, but wait, also, let me see, legendary melee staff. At some point you were able to, to shoot legendary melee sh staffs, as in like fire with them, um, like fireball staffs, but, oh yeah, <laughs> here we go. So yeah, that was, that was a bug. Uh, not gonna, not gonna keep this bug. Oh man, it does feel better though. It feels like I'm naturally holding. Cause before, when I held the staff, it felt like, felt like I was when I was holding it out like this, the staff would be naturally like the or like uh, in the game it would look like this. Even though naturally with my arm in real life, it looked like this. And so now they they matched it so that it, it looks like this in real life and it looks like this in the game. So I'm yeah I know I'm I'm really happy with that change. And I think part of that was because oh it, it is kind of weird when you do this though. <laughs> but that that's always just kind of the way that it works. But when you two hand it's it makes more sense. Um, and I think the part of the reason they did that was because spears came out. It's like they had to pay more attention to this and because holding this is kind of the same as a spear you just you want it to feel good when you try it for the first time so yeah i'm, I'm glad they put this change in that's awesome from the devs thank you very much uh okay so chrono staff or ice staff i'm gonna go for chrono staff just so i can be full melee and uh full melee that's all and i don't think i have throwable so i don't think i'm gonna have the automatic target with either of these i didn't check but whatever Oh, it's still so cool. However, actually, the one thing that's kind of weird is I don't have the glowing hands. Like, he has the glowing hands. I don't have the glowing hands. What's up with that? Um, kind of weird, but whatever. Um, yeah, so I guess that is kind of it. I'm going to... I do have to hop off. I was kind of just on my lunch break, so it was cool just to be able to explore and see what's what's going on in the outpost and the cosmetics and all that. Um, I, I still feel like I'm missing something. Oh, yeah, yeah, over here. So I didn't even go over here. I'm going to go over here real quick, see what's up. I think there might be maybe the sandstorm thing over here or the, the desert outfit hidden somewhere in this outpost part. Maybe not. Maybe I'm... Um, yeah, I don't know. I could just be be crazy uh and may maybe it's just somewhere else who knows i'll figure that out later um or or maybe it's just like an unlockable throughout the game as i go through it but yeah uh, it's again this is like really really cool stuff um they have outdone themselves once again i was hyped for the winter update but this wh when that happened when the holiday update happened that was pretty cool but this is like another level of cool and again like 
it's the exact kind of stuff that the community has been hoping for. Uh, me in particular, I, I can't speak for everybody, but I am so excited that this stuff exists. And yeah, great job again. Other great. Uh, let, <laughs> let me know what you guys think. Um, again, I, I'm going to try to get a dungeon in uh, after this when I get some the chance again. But uh, yeah, for now, this is this is what we got. I'll catch you in a bit.